hello in today's video i'll be showing you how to make iwidu powder that's juice powder from fresh iwidu leaves i just got this iwidu leaves from the market and i'll be using it to make iwidu powder the first thing to do is to get a big bowl and i'll be separating the leaves from the stem and putting the separated leaves into this big bowl this process is time consuming so to save us the time i'll quickly skip through this and jump into the next step which is the cleaning part this part must never be overlooked you must clean your iwidu properly this is because iwidu grows very close to the ground sometimes it is uprooted from the ground so it is prone to have a lot of dust on it um, sand stones sometimes you'd even find small insects on your iwidu leaves this is the reason why cleaning a widow properly is a must now when i'm done scooping this a widow from the water you would see how dirty this water is in fact you have to clean your widow at least two to three times or clean it until the water is clean before cooking it or making it into a widow powder just take a look at how dirty this water is this is what you don't want in your iwidu this dirt you don't want it in your iwidu i'll be changing this water and using another clean water to wash this iwidu again and again until i get a clean water now let me go into why iwidu powder is a thing i mean why it is necessary to save money iwidu is a popular delicacy in yoruba land in nigeria so during the raining season, we have an abundance of iwidu, and it is also very cheap during the raining season. So many Nigerians, many Yoruba people buy a lot of iwidu and turn it into iwidu powder in order to save money during the dry season when iwidu is not in abundance and it is quite expensive. Now I'm washing my iwidu the second time, and thankfully, Thankfully, my iwidu is not so dirty. You'll see what the water looks like after scooping out all the leaves. So the second reason why iwidu powder is a thing is for our Nigerians in diaspora. Yes, but before I go into that, look at how clean the water is. This is what I want. So I'll go into the next step, which is scantily spreading the iwidu leaves on my trays. Yes, you have to make sure that there's space in the trays so just scantily and then you can use as many trays as possible so the second reason why iwedu is great for nigerians in diaspora is because many nigerians in diaspora do not have access to iwedu but they have access to iwedu powder that is made for them by their family and relatives back home in nigeria and sent to them so i'll be spreading these trays in the sun and this is the first day of sun drying after the first day of sun drying you can see that you know three trays of iwedu leaves has turned into one it's because the leaves are shrinking but it's not as dry as it has to be so i'll be spreading it in the sun again and on the second day of sun drying this is our iwedu now let's see how crunchy it is mm -hmm. this is very crunchy once iwedu crumbles in between your hands when you roll your hands then you know that your iwedu is ready for turning into powder and this hand method is the first way you can make your iwedu powder you have to do this anyway when the iwedu is still hot immediately you take it out of the sun or you bring it into your house just roll your hands and crumble it but if you you know feel this is too tedious you can use the blender method put all the dried iwedu leaves in your blender and blend till it is in powder form so let me show you the result of all that plenty iwedu leaves i showed you in the beginning <laughs> yes it is quite small this is just a small bowl of iwedu but i tell you just a few tablespoons of this will get you the iwidu soup you need to mix your stew and all. And make sure you follow me because in my next video, I'll be showing you how to cook iwidu powder. Don't forget, good food should be enjoyed. 